Hello, welcome to Your Man in a Shed and our Euros review. Obviously, not in the shed today. I'll let you try and figure out where I am and I might show you in a bit. Anyway, couldn't do it in the car on the way to work. Obviously, I'm at work. Couldn't do it on the way to work because yesterday went to Swindon, forgot to put me um, thing that I hold my phone in. I'm like, oh! So that's still in the wife's car. That'd be something to get from that. So just a quick quick one, a quick recap on um, yesterday and the games which are going to take place today. So obviously big news yesterday, England winning, Raheem Sterling scoring and um, Calvin Phillips making himself a absolute star. Good performance from him. I'm now thinking which of the top six will buy him and how much will they pay. I'm thinking 60 to 80 million and I'm thinking yeah Man United could do with him I think Arsenal could do with him they could do with an enforcer in midfield I love the way that he was breaking play up he was proper tough and proper hardcore and I liked that also yesterday we saw Holland take on Ukraine which probably was one of the best games of the Euros to be fair though didn't actually watch it but going by the scoreline it was probably good and Austria, North Macedonia, what else sat in the garden having a barbecue? So I wasn't going to be watching that. Had the family round. It was my birthday. Yep, that's right. Your man in the shed is now getting on a bit. Thing is, like I say, the best thing about being the age I am, and, you know, the one person who will bother watching this um, will probably appreciate this. I can now truly be a grumpy old man and get away with it. Anyway, quick swig of coffee. So, what do we take from yesterday's game? Well, it's nice to actually win the opening game of the Euros. We didn't do it at Euro 96. We've never done it before. So, the first time in 10 games, we've actually won our first game. Could it be a good omen? Well, let's hope so. Let's hope that for the final we're at Wembley and we're picking up the cup at the end. But we will see. Um... Also today in Group D, we've got Scotland taking on Switzerland. Scotland have actually got a pretty, de pretty look, put, my, put my teeth back in. Scotland have actually got a pretty decent team. I don't know why I've put that. They're playing Switzerland now on my piece of paper. I'm certain that they're actually playing the Czech Republic. Czech Republic have had decent teams in the past. They're not what they used to be, though, are they, to be fair? And I think Scotland have beaten them 1-0 in their last three games but it's not been in the Euros so we'll see what happens there we've definitely got some talent in that team with the likes of um, Billy Gilmore Scott McTominay and Tierney and Robinson but doesn't it make you think yeah that is so Scottish two of the best left backs in the world and they're both left backs and they both play for Scotland so on the left defensively they should be good We'll see about the rest of the defence, shall we? Um, but, you know, I sort of good luck to Scotland, but they're in England's group, so it's hope, to be fair, they get a draw because they'll suit us. But for Scotland's point of view, if they can get a win and they do well against England and Croatia, they've got a good chance of qualifying. That'll make a change. Um, and then also today, we have got Group E starting, where we've got... Poland and Slovakia and Spain and Sweden. So Spain, you know, they will like to keep the ball, play almost a Man City style football. Let's be fair, the Spanish have in the past been pretty damn tasty on the ball. Um, do they have the superstars that they used to have? We will see. You know, they've certainly got some quality, I'm sure of it. Um, but we will see what happens. Anyway, it's just going to be a quick Euros update today. Um, good news is um, Christian Eriksen is still making progress. It's been revealed that it was a heart attack he had. To be fair, it was good that it happened where it did in the play. He was very close to the referee. The referee's looking at him. And congratulations to the referee calling him on straight away. The um, medical team, the team, um, Denmark. They done everything that they could and they protected their player. They made a circle so that people couldn't see what was going on. Um, but yeah, you'd have been really shaken. And it's a shame really that 
they couldn't win it for Eric, but at least Ericsson, sorry, but at least they managed to um, revive him, and he will be okay. Anyway, that's been your brief um, Euros review for today. I'm your man, the Shed Only P. Not in the Shed today, but who knew? Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll make some more wacky content for you for the Planet Euros tomorrow. By the way, I'm at work all day, so I'm not actually going to see any of the games, but I think that's half the fun. You don't really come here for the um, info. You come here for the entertainment, so I'm going to say it's infotainment. Boom. Thank you. This is your Grand Master Shedi. See you, pals.